What is going on everybody? I am back with another episode of the Brooklyn Nets My GM series. This is episode number two. Let's get right into it. So as you guys know in the last episode, we decided to trade for Tiago Splitter and a first round draft pick. So I thought it was a pretty good trade and uh, we've got a couple of things to take care of over the course of this episode. And also we're going to check out something very, very huge in this series and that is team relocation. Now, I now, after reading the comments of yesterday's MyGM video, you guys had a bunch of ideas on where I should send the Brooklyn Nets. Where, are we, where should we relocate? And um, so some of my favorites that I saw were, I, I saw Las Vegas, I saw Hawaii, I saw a lot of Hawaii, I saw Vancouver, uh, I saw Seattle, but one that kind of struck me the most was New Jersey. I thought it was a pretty decent idea to bring the Brooklyn Nets back to New Jersey, bring, make them the new New Jersey Nets again. But uh, this series is all about you guys. You guys are the ones watching. You guys are the ones supporting. So I want you guys to make the final decision. So in the description below, I have a poll created. There are about four to five options on which cities you can decide. So some examples of where the Brooklyn Nets can relocate. I have put in the poll um, New Jersey, Seattle. I put Honolulu, Hawaii. I put Las Vegas. And I think, I can't quite remember the last one I put, but and I want you guys to vote in the poll in the description below where should the Brooklyn Nets relocate because I want you guys to have the main decision in this series. And uh, yeah, guys, be sure to let me know in the poll. Now, also, once we decide on the city, slowly and slowly, I would ha I'll have you guys decide on what the logo should look like or what the arena should look like or what the uniform should look like because I want you guys to pretty much lead most of this series. So that should be a lot of fun, but... uh. This episode, we won't be playing any games. Why? Well, because I want to make a couple more trades. I don't think the team is NBA ready yet. I mean, you got Thaddeus Young is injured. But, I mean, taking a look at our bench right now, we are very, very weak. We've got Quincy Miller and Markel Brown. I mean, this team isn't really looking too good right now. So, we're going to go ahead and see who exactly is on the free agent market. And hopefully, we can sign a player by the end of this episode. And I see Larry Sanders, Ray Allen... Uh, Jermaine O'Neal, a lot of great players here, but uh, I think at the end of the day, should we pick up Ray Allen or should we pick up Larry Sanders? I think we're good at center right now considering we have Tiago Splitter and Brook Lopez. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up Ray Allen. Ray Allen, hopefully you sign with the Brooklyn Nets, man. He'll be an amazing option for this team. A great veteran and a great three-point shooter. He's asking for a one-year $2.76 We definitely have the cap room to sign him. I'm going to go ahead and offer him, let's see. Uh... We'll go one year, 2.2 million. Let's see if he can, if he goes ahead and accepts it. 2.2 million. He wants to go 2.33. I think, I think I can afford that. Let's go 2.3. 2.3. Let's see if Ray Allen will accept. And 2.3. I think this will work out great. I'm looking forward to playing for the Brooklyn Nets. Ray Allen, welcome to the squad, man. I'm excited to have Ray Allen a part of the team. So after rebuilding the rotation right here, we do have Ray Allen as a starting shooting guard. I don't know how I feel about that. But then when you look at the options, I mean, who else can really play that position? Because, I mean, we really don't have too many. We have Bogdanovich. We have Wayne Ellington. You know what? I'll keep Ray Allen at the starting shooting guard. But let me know in the comment section down below. Who do you think I should start? Okay, so the next thing I want to do real quick is I want to make a quick trade. I want to try to get a shooting guard because Ray Allen at shooting guard is not... Uh, not a uh, good option. So let's, let's see what we can get for Wayne Ellington and maybe my boy Chris right here. Let's see what, who we can get. Uh, I'm not really expecting to get anyone too spectacular, but maybe like a nice shooting guard role player. Maybe like a J.R. Smith would be very nice. Or we have this offer for Avery Bradley and Kelly Olynyk. That's actually not a bad deal, but I don't want to give up this first round pick quite yet. Uh, Justin Holiday and Ken Bazemore. That's a good deal. All right, let's go ahead and throw in maybe a draft pick and see if we can uh, increase... Increase the trade value just a little bit. So throw in this second round pick from the Boston Celtics. And uh, hopefully we can get something a little nicer. I think this is a great trade right here. Wayne Ellington, my boy Chris McCullough. And then uh, a 2017 second round pick for Gary Neal and Garrett Temple. I get rid of this pick and then throw in Donald Sloan. This, this will clear up some cap room as well. So we got these three players right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we can get. And no offers were found, dang. Okay, so let's get rid of Donald Sloan, maybe Chris. So let's see, Tony Roten and Carl Landry. That's a nice deal right there. Uh, Taj Gibson and Mike Dunleavy. Evan Turner and Kelly Olenek. I just don't want to give up that first round pick quite yet. Uh, Ken Bazemore. 
Let's see. Ooh, Robin Lopez. Well, the thing is, we already have so many centers on this team. We could team up Brooke Lopez and Robin Lopez. That would be kind of nice. Jameer Nelson, maybe. Nah. Ooh, Steven Adams and Andre Robertson. I'm liking this trade right here. We're, we can pick up a young shooting guard in Andre Robertson. And we can pick up a young developing center in Steven Adams. I'm going to go ahead and take this deal right here. I feel like this is a phenomenal deal from the Oklahoma City Thunder. They end up accepting the deal. Let's take a quick look at our roster. I'm liking that trade a lot. So taking a look at our team right now, uh, let's go ahead and rebuild the rotation. And I'm liking this right now. We're going to go ahead and start um, Andre Robertson over Ray Allen just because Ray Allen is a little older. And Andre Robertson should be a nice pickup right there. But I'm liking the squad so far. Obviously, this is a rebuilding process. And more trades will be coming down the road. But if you guys want to see episode number three tomorrow, be sure to hit that like button for me. 100 likes for episode number three. As you guys know, I did upload episode one yesterday, episode two, two today. And if you guys hit that like button, episode three will be uploaded tomorrow. So thank you guys for all the support. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed. Vote in the poll down below. Where should the Brooklyn Nets go? But that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys real soon.